Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Today I've got a quick about 10 to 15 minutes yoga ladies workout with a mini ball for you and we're standing the entire time and working the lower body. Since some of the exercises might be a bit challenging for the balance, feel free to place your mat close to a chair, a wall, a dresser, or something you can hold on to if you need to. All right, when you're ready, place the ball between your thighs and take a moment to breathe here. Yeah. Stand tall, relax your shoulders, your jaw. Maybe close your eyes and just breathe. Now let's add a bit of movement. On your inhalation, bend your knees, then rise up, arms high, and exhale, release your hands. Again, inhale up, and exhale, release. Once more. And fold down into a forward fold. Your hands can come onto the chair or all the way down. Also, a really nice option is to bring the ball onto your thighs so your belly can rest onto it. Soft bend in your knees. Your leg at a gentle rock. And slowly rise up, ball in your hands. Step out into a goddess pose. So your toes pointing out, knees pointing into the same direction as your toes. And then bend into your knees. Ball just between your hands. Don't have to add a lot of pressure, just hold it there. And then press yourself up and lower down. Press up and lower. Up and more here. Let's do three more, and then we're adding a pulse. So, next time you come down, add a pulse. Up and all the way up. Lower down, pulse, and up. Keep going. In three, we're going to hold it low. Last one, and then hold it down. Bring the ball onto your right leg, right hand onto the ball, and your left hand to your head. Then lean over to the right, rolling the ball slightly to your knee and back to center. Lean over to the right, back to center. And the next time you lean over, can you lift your right heel off the mat, back to center, lower the heel, again. Doing four more. Try to stay low. For two. One. Ball into both hands. Rise up for a moment. Shake out your hips. And lower into goddess again. Ball onto your left leg. Right hand to your head. And then lean over to the left. Back to center. Lean over and center. Now maybe lift your heel to the center. Only four more. Last two. One. Pull into both hands. Hold it here for a moment. And then press yourself. Turn your toes forward, come into a wide leg forward fold. And rest your hands onto the ball. Maybe roll from side to side. Then rise up again. Ball stays on the mat now. 
and bring both heels onto the ball for a chair pose. So feet parallel and also hold onto the chair for this one. Take your time to adjust yourself here. And then sink down. Maybe you can release your hands from the chair and press up to standing and sink back to chair pose. Press up and chair pose. Your hands can stay at your heart, at your hips. You can also reach them up. That feels good on your neck. So just see what works for you. You can also keep them on the chair or on the wall. Let's do two more. Then hold your chair pose and press your heels into the ball. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise up, step the right foot off the ball. Left heel comes closer to center of the ball. And then sink down into a squat. Again, hold on to the chair, especially for the first repetition. From here, we're going to step into a 90-90 lunge. So right leg comes back and into the chair, uh, squat again. All right, back to 90-90 and squat. Maybe release your hands from the chair and work slow here. Really take your time, there's no need to rush. We're doing three more. And then we're holding the 90-90 lunge. So step back to the 90-90 lunge. Option to hold onto the chair and then press your front heel into the ball. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step forward, release your legs for a moment. And then we're going straight to the other side. So, right heel onto the ball. And then lower into a squat. Remember, hands can come to the chair if you like. And then step back into the 90-90 lunge. And back to your squat. 90-90 lunge. And squat. Already halfway there, just four more. Last two. One. And into the 90-90 lunge again, hold. And press the heel into the ball. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come forward, release your legs, shake them out. And then roll down into a forward fold. Walk out your legs. And place the ball between your thighs again. Doing one more round of our chair squats here. So, lower yourself down, sit back, and come up again. Your hands can do whatever feels good. Now the next time you lower down, add a pulse, and press all the way up. Up and more like that. Great job. Now hold it low, reach your arms up, and then swing them back and up. Swing them back and up. Let's do this three more times. Really long arms. Great. Hands to your heart again or to your hips and squeeze the ball between your thighs. 
Maybe adjust it a little bit. Just a couple more. All right, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release forward, forward. And rest your hands on the ball and knees bend. And always come onto the seat of your chair if that feels better. Let's add a little twist. Ball, hand onto the ball in front of your right foot, right knee bends, left arm reaches up. If you like, wrap your left arm around your lower back, deepening the twist. And switch sides. Left hand down, left knee bends, right arm up, right leg extend. Maybe wrap the right arm around your back. And release. Slowly roll up, take your time. Once you're up, take a deep inhalation, reach your arms high. And exhale, hands to heart. You did it. Great job. I hope you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye.